everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last episode, we found a bunch of the Yoshi kids, and we're curious about whether or not it was the last one that we found. Uh, in this episode, we're slowly working our way back to the village to see if they are indeed all of the children. I don't... Oh, I see exactly where the next one is. And that one is probably the last one. How exactly I get there is beyond me. However, it's nothing that we can't handle. I think this way doesn't bring us there. But I love But there's got to be a way. Us to get there. Let me try. Yeah, it's gotta be up here somewhere. Yeah, alright, so we gotta go up, right, and then down in terms of position. Yeah. So we shall do exactly that. Get that Yoshi kid that I somehow managed to completely miss. I don't wanna... I hate these things. I really do. Especially because... Um... They have at least 7 hit points. Or somewhere around 7 hit points. And... What is it? And I can't do that in a single turn very easily. I mean, I just do four... I do exactly seven between the two attacks. Oh no, I do eight. Oh, that's right, because I powered up sushi. I forgot I did that. Oops. Whatever. Um... I guess I don't pay attention, because I don't remember that being there in the last episode. But it's fine, because now we can go get the last Baby Yoshi. At least I hope it's the last one. Oh boy. Oh, that was definitely the last one because of that little thumbs up Mario just gave us. By the way, where did you go? Because there was no bridge here. Until now. Which, thank god they gave me the ability to make a bridge. Because I'm going to go all the way around. Everyone finally come down because we got the kids and the village elder wants to talk to us. That's all fine and dandy, but I... I'm going to go to the Toad House and rest, because I need to heal. That's all there is to it. Alright, onwards. Go talk to the village elder man thing. Uh, I don't want to talk to Colorado. Well, the elder is supposed to, supposed to be... Yeah, I found him. Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. At least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I have remembered a good way to reach the volcano. Please, come this way. Oh, thank god, it didn't make me walk. I'm a lazy man. Huh? I thought it was somewhere around here. Oh yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. The Jade Raven. Whenever events beyond our control occur on this island, we ask the help of Raphael the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place a Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, 
the way into the depths of the jungle up here. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Wait just a moment. Oh, I forgot to hit. I forgot how to do it. I forgot how to do the voice. <laughs> what a touching story it says. You say. I can Okay. So are you now a permanent member of the party? I really hope you are. Because... Hey, Colorado! I found the way to the volcano. Alright, I guess you don't want to come to the volcano. More treasure for me! Which means more money for me! Which means I never have to worry about buying items again! Which also means I could probably build a rocket ship to fly up to Bowser. Instead of having to save the star spirits. Alright. Jade Raven. Raphael! Oh. Not actually getting a giant bird, I guess. You know what happens if I take the raven back? Can I even do that? That- okay. I didn't even know that was there. Do not want to fight- no! I will not fight. What am I supposed to do here? I mean, I guess I'll get the money. If there was any more. I uh, yikes. I do not want to fight you, you jagger. <sighs> Two damage to everybody. Um. But yeah. Cool. I just raised Mario's defense. Cool. Let's not deal with these freaking fuzzies. And screw up acting commands again. And ignore this other fuzzy as well. Uh, do another quake. Capping everybody at, um, 4 damage, I believe they're at. And heal off this first shy guy with sushi's belly flop. However, with this healing, I don't think the fuzzies are actually where they should be. Because they're canceling out any and all damage I do to them. So you know what that means? I'm gonna take the lazy man ways out. Lazy man's way out. How did I screw that up? I said it so many times in the last few episodes. I don't know how I screwed it up. But it's okay, because they're all dead. Which leaves us free to explore this area and try. What? I'm so confused. Hello? Aha! Ah, I found it. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. oh, I see. Stupid block pushing puzzles. It's like Pokemon with strength. So I guess I just gotta cover all of the holes, which I don't necessarily have to do in the order that they start spouting, do I? Which is pretty helpful to me, because, oh, um, 
that. Yes. Get rid of the rock. Put it into the background, not even. Um, alright, what do we have here? More trees to beat the crap out of with our hammer. Uh, more jungle. I don't like the jungle. Especially that one red area in the background that you see on the left side of the screen. It's just... It looked like an enemy for a minute. Alright, we're... Hold on. That's the way we came in. Um... Is there a way out? There's gotta be a way out. Can I... Maybe... That's not what I wanted. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Yep. Alright, we're good. Sort of. I hope I'm... Ah, crap baskets. Uh, let's go heal. Ooh, we don't have anything to heal. Okay. Alright, I guess we're doing this. Piranha plant time. Piranha plant... And a magic Koopa. Okay, well, let's take the lazy man's way out and knock out most of their health with a single attack with a star store. And hopefully, this will allow Sushi to, yes, take them out with squirt. Can you stop poisoning me? Holy crap. Their poison attacks are the most annoying thing. Because it does constant damage to you, so when... Oh god, god damn it. So when you don't have any way to heal yourself, you're just screwed. Can I just... I wish Sushi had a way to deal damage to all enemies. Oh, this is going to be the death of me. No, it does one damage. Okay, we're good. Alright. We can heal five damage, and then Sushi can take out another guy. Which will save us for another turn, because we're up. We're at six HP. Magic Koopa does three. Poison does one, so we have enough HP to survive the battle. Unfortunately, though, we're not... Oh, the Magic Koopa just flees. That's great. We don't even have to deal with the extra damage. Everything dies. Everything drops all its stuff. And we get to... That is a big tree. That is a big tree that the N64 somehow was able to render. That is amazing. And I think this is the home to that Raphael guy. Can I just have a way to heal, maybe? Because I didn't get a level up and I only have 6 HP. So, um... I don't exactly have a way... to... you know, sustain myself if I were to get into a bat. Can I jump off? No? Okay. Can I have a place to heal myself? Maybe. It's just a thought. Something that would be nice. Please. What do you... What do you guys do? Goddamn. Alright, that is Raphael. The big... Raphael the Raven. He's a raven. We will talk to Raphael the Raven in the... Ooh. Excuse me. In the next episode, Super Mario. Thank you all for watching. See you all 
in the next one. Bye-bye!